Welcome to the PT Legends Podcast, where co-host Dave Bess and myself, Scott Carpenter, share our journey in secrets of success. From our humble beginnings as personal training employees of a big box gym, to struggling studio owners that have made every mistake in the book, to where we are now, the owners of a multi-seven-figure business operating multiple personal training studios internationally, and now coach and mentor to fitness professionals in five countries and counting. This is our story, and these are our secrets. Subscribe to our podcast, learn, take action, and build your own fitness empire. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the PT Legends Podcast. I am Scott. Big Dave, clocking in. Yeah. Today, we're going to do a little bit of a public service announcement because the state of the industry out there, uh, there's a lot of fear. And so what we're going to do is talk about how to overcome, how to manage that fear, uh, because for a lot of you, you have seen your leads cut by as much as 80%. 80%. Whoa. That's an following the pandemic and how far we are into this and blah, blah, blah. If this was a couple of years ago or two and a half, whatever, it may be not that alarming, but you've suffered a lot through the pandemic and, and all this kind of yep. stuff too. And now when your leads are consistently coming in far less and yeah, as much as 80% of a cut, um, it's really, really scary. And we, we feel that because, mm -hmm. you know, out of the dozens of, of gym owners that we work with, yeah, they're, they're feeling that heat. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's uncomfortable. And a lot of people are coming to us because of that. Um, and, and so the, the great thing is, is what, in the past couple months, we've even had people come to us that say, hey, if it weren't for what we were doing and how we incorporated a high ticket transformational program in our business and working with PT Legends to teach us how to do that, we would be out of business. And while it, that just is what it is with everything going on, like it was amazing yeah. to hear that. And uh, that, I mean, it, it's very meaningful to us as gym owners who have fucking struggled mm -hmm. and, and taken some big hits. Um, but that's it. So we've had the pandemic. We've had, depending on where, if you're lucky to be in a place or not for shutdowns. Um, but any, any gym out there that, that operates with like a lot of group, high volume, large group, uh, most yeah. of those are definitely at pre-pandemic levels in terms of like their, their group memberships. Um, do you know any that are higher? No. Cody, but he's, yep. he's yep. fitness kickboxing. Um, uh, but that's it, I think for their large yeah. group memberships. Now, some of them are doing better financially though, since bringing yes. in high ticket and that's it guys. So when your leads are cut massively, and it's a combination of COVID <clears throat> shutdowns, um, fear and worry that extends from that. Yep. <sighs> Mass stuff, depending on where you're at and, and everything like that, mask mandates. And then um, also iOS when they did their uh, privacy changes and all of a sudden Facebook ads just shit the bed all over the place. Um, yeah, all of that has, has led a to a lot. lot. Like, That's a say, lot. Saying well, that out loud is like, holy crap. Yeah. And then Omicron. So yes, Omicron yeah. just came raging mm -hmm. in yep. uh, in December and January. And even one of the most bulletproof places, our Arrowhead location. 80% decrease in leads. In yeah. January. Yeah. And, and Arrowhead. So we don't even, well, we do a little bit of AdWords, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't have to advertise there. We get so many organic leads there just because it's been there a long time. It's just the right area yep. to, you know, it, and we've got amazing reviews and SEO works. But even that place, holy cow, was that a dry January? It's unbelievable. January, and February. It's bleeding into February too. I yeah, mean, it's just it's unbelievable. But here's the thing: I would be shitting the bed if this was three years ago and we did not have a transformational offer in place. Yeah, like yeah. I, I had a conversation with our GM Ron at Arrowhead. I'm like, brother, we're one week away, one week away, and this thing is just it's gonna be just it's gonna boil over because. When you have someone that can sell a transformational offer and believe in it, maybe that's you out there and you follow through. If you have four conversations, you're getting one of those people to commit to a lifelong change and they're yeah. going to pay you thousands of dollars. Yeah. If, if we were selling what we did three years ago 
and we were selling semi-private sessions at 30, 40 a piece and our private sessions at maybe 75, 80, 85 a piece, we would be in big trouble right now. Oh, it would take six months to, to, I mean, good God. We're talking, yeah, it would take half of a year to build something back. Yeah. That's a lot of yeah. the gym owners that we're working with. If they did not have a, let's just say the 2K Skittles offer, yeah, they'd be crawling for six, nine, 12 months just to get back to even. Oh, yeah. And and there's a lot out there like that. Like I know Josh Price was talking to a gym <clears throat> owner that, that works with us. He was talking to a legend and what they had pre-pandemic and post, and they did the math on how many freaking from leads – to closes and close in how long they'd stay and this and that. And it was like hundreds and hundreds and how long it would take to get back. Wow. And then it's just, yeah, guys, you have to charge more. You have to have something that you charge an amazing amount of money for because that's what people need. That's because that's what mm -hmm. people want. Not everyone. Okay. Some people are going to do your normal stuff. They're going to do your normal group, your normal semi, your normal one-on-one, -on -one. but you need to charge more for people who are looking for more. And this is a way you can make up for volume. The game changes. You can make, you can close two people in a month mm -hmm. and bring in 4,000, 8,000, $12,000, depending on whether they're going, which transformation option they're doing. And I mean, we've had it where Shane, where we're sitting right now, yep. we've had it where he had two sales in a month. But it was a six thousand dollar and a three thousand dollar one, yep. and it's nine thousand dollars. And these are for nine weeks, nine week programs, guys. These aren't for like twelve month programs that run a service forever. Mm -hmm. They're nine weeks. That's about two months, and that's nine thousand dollars. It's not one on one for that either. Okay, and he has two sales, nine thousand dollars paid in full. When's the last time you brought in nine thousand dollars in new business revenue in any given month? And you can do that with two, two consultations. He's had a couple months like yep. that here. Oh, 100%. But this place pumps out money. It does. Mm -hmm. Like, it does really well. And it has, it kind of struggled, actually, before we did this. Not struggled, but he did not make near no. as much money. Yeah. Now, granted, you and I, you know, we, we don't have an owner-operator in here. It's operating on its own. But, but when we started doing this... Yeah, I mean, it's totally different, right? Yeah. And like we just don't worry about leads now, like because we, we don't know, have to. We know when you have a team of people that are behind a mission of changing lives and knowing how to have the conversation with everyone that walks in, it's you're gonna get there. And we had the conversation in there a couple pods ago, right? They're gonna do something. Yeah. We're just gonna point them in the right direction. And that's that's the cool thing, even if uh, it, with a legends client, like our legends clients right now, they're nervous mm -hmm. when your leads dry up that much. I don't care, how, but what's the alternative? Just imagine if they weren't, if they did not have that transformational offer, how much additional stress is that? I, I would I, not I, I want don't to be in this business without no, it. No, at all. I wouldn't want to be in. They it. would just weigh on you like every second of, of every day. Like the, well, that's how it is for most people. Yeah, because they don't have, they don't have something where they can make up miles of ground in yeah. a sale or two, right? So when you're looking at that horizon and what, it, how much scraping and clawing you're going to have to do just to get back even, mm. ooh, yeah. man, that's that's a lot. That's hard. And you're going to play defense too. We talk about it all the right. time, like doing that. If you're only getting eight leads in, man, they're gonna they're gonna sign up for something, even if I have to discount. 40%, 50%. Yeah. The, the hard part. So this is, this is the really hard part when you don't have a lot of lead flow coming in. And after everything that we've been through, do you, have you ever played poker before? Like a, a tournament or anything like that? Bit. It's, have you ever heard the term like, like when you're, when you're playing scared? Mm, yeah. So, yep. or playing with scared money is what, I don't even know why I can't think of the, the expression. Scared I was just money. Say, scared yeah. money. Yeah. We'll say so scared it's, money. It's, it's scared money. And it's where you don't make, like when you're getting short stacks, like when you're starting, everybody else proportionally has a lot, you have a little, you don't make the moves that you need to make to win because you're scared yeah. to lose. You, you don't have much. If it doesn't go your way, you're kind of done. And mm. when you've been through all this and your lead flow is slow, you just, you play, you're, it's like you're playing with scared money. And it's, it's, 
you almost downsell them to cheaper options or ones where you know you can mm -hmm. get it. It's yeah. You don't really go for it. It gets harder and harder and harder. You get more nervous. You're not sometimes you're not quite yourself. You're just man, I really need this to happen. And uh and you play it safe. You play it safe. But the problem is if the, even if you don't have a high ticket transformational offer, right? You've got group or you've got some one on one. A lot of times you just steer into the one on one because you play it safe or to the group to to play group, it safe. Yeah. You need to make this stuff up in, in revenue and margin and everything. Um, and that's the whole thing. I mean, you don't need a lot of leads, guys. You don't need a lot of leads at all, especially when you do this. We have at Desert Ridge, we've had months where we've had under 10, a lot of months. Mm -hmm. A lot of months. A lot of months here because this is a harder area to get leads in. Our 7th Street location, our Arrowhead location, except for January, um, you know, gets plenty of leads. Not an mm -hmm. overwhelming amount, but we've never had a problem there, and it's just really easy. But Scottsdale, Desert Ridge, where we have more competition, um, in these areas, there's a lot of competition. And so we do naturally get fewer leads, um, really, no matter what we do in it, and it's way more expensive to advertise around here as well. Uh, we just don't have to worry. Yeah, we can get in. We can get in eight leads a month, and we are. That's enough to do damn well, and and grow really well. Should we give some tips out there for everyone that's? If let's just say hypothetically they don't have a transformational yeah. offer, like let's let's give them some meat. Something that that we do. I think it's my signature line. Something that everyone can do out there right now is. If you're struggling for leads, you're only getting in five or six, and you know this month isn't looking promising either. Text every single former client that you have trained, whether it's five years ago, 10 years ago, two years ago, and just drop them a line saying, hey, how have you been? Yep. That right, that right there alone, if you text 100 people, it will lead to five people coming back from, for some type of program. Absolutely. Hey, how have you been? How have you been? It's that you don't need to go on a whole long thing. There's, that'll open up a conversation. And a lot of times they will start asking you to yes. come back at that point. Right? Because then they're like, oh, how have I been? Because immediately they're going to put you in the context of health, fitness, things like 100%. that. 100%. And they probably haven't done, done jack shit. I texted. I wasn't even trying to do this. But uh, one, of the, uh, one, of, one of my former one-on-one -on -one clients popped up in my, my news feed. It was like four years ago as a Facebook memory. And he's done like a set of like heavy rows. And I was like, shit, what a pump. So I just texted him. I'm like, dude, check this out, man. This is four years ago. Can you believe it? So then, you know, he, he just had a kid. So he sent me a picture of his kid and we just, just small talk. Like I don't even train anymore. I'm not in the studio. And then he didn't know this. And he's like, Hey man, I need to get my ass back in there. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, let me, I'll, 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 I'll get you linked up with big Ron and he'll take care of you and get you back in. Yeah. I didn't even mean to do that. Right. So, but it's just, and I say this all the time. If you're going to do it, do it not to get them to come back. Don't do it for selling them a program. Or if you have a, a new program, like I hate that. Hey, I was thinking of you. We, we launched this new program. Don't go at it from that angle. Go at it from the angle of just a genuine, hey, how have you been lately? Yeah. Don't expect anything from it. Don't, don't expect don't, anything from yeah. it. Exactly. Because then it's a chore too. Then it's, okay, all right. I have it on Monday to contact all, you know, contact yep. 10 old lead or 10 old clients. And yeah, just, just have a genuine connection with them and uh, don't, don't, don't make it where you're going to promote or ask if they've been, yep. whatever, just ask, how have you been? It will lead, it will lead because you are a health professional, yep. right? So naturally it's going to lead to man, I've been on some weight since the pandemic. Yeah. And then it can go down like with our discovery call script. Just open it up. It's like, oh, you put on how much how much weight have you put on? Oh, dude, like how how are you doing with that? Then you just open it up. Yep. Dude, let's jump on a call. Let's jump on a quick call, dude. Let's catch up. Let's really see where you're at. Let's get your ass motivated to get back in here. Yep. It's it's pretty simple. Don't overthink it. Yeah. Nope. Don't overthink it, guys. Um, so yeah, great one. Uh and, and that's so fast and easy. We make it out to be this big thing. And how often do you push that off? How often do you yes. know you need to do that, but you're going to push it off? I mean, right now, if, if, if that's you, just pause this podcast, write yourself an email, or put it in your calendar right away. Do this. right? Just write it so it gets done. Put a place for it. Don't overthink it. It's how many words is that? I don't even know. 
but just just write that that you're going to do this and you can fire that off to 20 people. Or hell, text them right now. Pause it and text someone. Yeah. Someone right now, if you're listening, you're thinking of someone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody probably right. popped up in your head. Guarantee it. I guarantee it. Yeah. Pause right now and text them. Hey, brother, how have you been there? Hey, how have you been, Sheila? Just thinking of you. That's it. And watch what happens. Yeah. It's that simple. It's that simple, guys. Um, so great one. And then, uh, you know, what we've been teaching a lot of our legends is really how to create good content and uh, and just post it, right? And just, there's organic lead gen and, and do it. You have to learn how to have fun with it, right? Um, but organic lead gen can net you one to two extra people a month just from putting things out. And, uh, yeah. you, you know, if, if you don't, if you haven't been to, well, even Dave's page, like that's a great place to start to look at what yep. you should put out. Dave Bess, B-E-S-S, -S, uh, look him up on Facebook. And there'll be some great examples of content that you can put out. And uh, he's, he's fantastic at it. He's got a lot of practice with it. And yeah, you can generate leads just from that. I know that is more of a long game though. J mm -hmm. Don't expect yep. anything but it can. The, if the you haven't that, done it, if you haven't done it, yes. and you have had Facebook for eight years, and you've oh man, it could. A it could lot be a of our point. legends have yep. gotten pulled quite a few once we started pushing them to do that. Yep. You can put out some great posts, then make a what we call a blunt post, just asking, right, who wants to work with you? And That's it. They'll get it. They'll get it. It's really exciting. I when get, that happens, that's though. another pause button. Here's another yeah. pause button. But just pause button now, and like literally, so. Plain graphic, so go to Canva, pick your favorite color background. And it's, I'm looking for X, let's just say women. I'm looking for three women who are looking to lose some weight and lean out in the next 90 days without giving out something that women love, booze and brunch. I'm looking for five women who are looking to lean out in the next 90 days without giving up booze and brunch. DM me if you're interested. In the copy below that, just say, if you're motivated, ready to take action, ready to get that summer body back, make sure you DM me. That's it. That's it. I just made you guys some money. Do that. Hit the pause button and do that right now. I guarantee someone will reach out to you. Yeah. And and guys, don't let fear get in your way on that one. I mean, you're not going to want to do that because you're like, well, what if nobody responds? Then nobody responds. Who gives a shit? Like try it again in another couple <laughs> weeks, right? It doesn't matter. Because oh, when you when you can sell something that's $2,000, $3,000, $6,000, $8,000, all you need is one, guys. You don't need everybody raising their hand running to you, and that's not going to happen anyways. Nope. You only need one to make this thing worthwhile. You can make a post like that. We, some of our legends grab two from that. Yep. I know, great. I just made $6,000 from a post. That's, that's it. That's what you have to look at, like, organic content, too. That's yeah. the way, like, so it's like, okay, it's two things that I'm going to do, right? I'm going to make sure that I'm focusing on just giving some value out there to the world. So I'm going to tell a story. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about some pain. Sometimes it's just maybe a recipe or something just to have someone say, oh, cool. I can eat chicken sandwiches. Fantastic. So it's value. I'm going to throw out some value right there. Check out my chicken sandwiches. Or like yesterday, I made a post about Frosted Flakes cereal. How if you eat a bowl of Frosted Flakes and feel guilty about it, then you're not living the life the best way. So I'm giving some value. I'm making people think. And it's just that jab, jab. Then when you put out the blunt post, the people mm -hmm. that have looked at that content, maybe they didn't even like it. But all of a sudden, you might get that random text message. They don't even DM you. Just, oh, I need to get back in there. So it's, yep. it's, it's, it's insane the number of people, guys. Once you start consistently putting out content, they see it and they don't like it. Look at our podcast, for example. Right? You, when you put stuff out there for the world to see and it has value to it, it will come back to you every single time. Absolutely. And yeah, start. Stop overthinking it. Don't sit there and create calendars and organization. Well, on Mondays, I'm going to do this. And on Tuesdays, mm -mm. if you're not doing anything right now, just make a fucking post. Stop like, mm -hmm. stop, yep. like waiting till it's perfect. When we started this podcast, God, I don't even want to listen to that first episode. I'm sure it's horrible. It probably went on oh, for yeah. like almost an hour. We're like, nobody's going to listen to this, but just show up guys. Just keep mm -hmm. showing, showing up, up and then have fun with it. Like we love doing this. Yes. Right. And we get to put out some cool value too. And if uh, we don't even care, and this is the way that our mindset, let's talk about our mindset, go into these podcasts. Let's give people some real meat. If they take mm -hmm. it, even if they never reach out, even if they never become a legend, like let's throw value out there and man, 
hopefully you guys take little bits and pieces of like, well, I really connect with that. I'm going to make it my own. And it's making you guys some money too. Yeah. So that's, that's how our mindsets go with this podcast. Like give, give, give. We hope that it gets you excited to book a call with this, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. No, no. Guys, fitness professionals and gym owners, we need all the help we can get. So yeah, if it never mm-hmm. leads to a conversation with us at some point down the road, this that kind of, it's amazing to, to give back and to help somebody. If I can make somebody mm-hmm. help yep. make extra money, take some stress off, and then also do a better job with their clients where they're like, it's awesome to have a, a huge reach and an impact like that. So don't worry about the result. Don't worry about the result. Yep. Just put value out into the world. And at some point it's coming back to you. Just know that. I made this statement. This was like two years ago. This is the best experiment that I've ever done. When I told my wife, Carrie, I was like, let's just go live every single day for a thousand days. Like, let's just, let's just see what happens. And a lot of things, amazing things have happened. So we had to quit our live streak, like at 180 days. Uh If we would have continued whatever we were doing at the time, it would be making a million dollars. There's no doubt it'd be making a million dollars. Yeah. So do something giving value, something that you're passionate about, do it for a thousand days in a row and you'll be a millionaire. Even if it's shitty content out of the gate, it does not matter at all. Find the messaging, find your passion, find your purpose and deliver value on that. Do it for a thousand days in a row. Don't worry about the result. I guarantee you will make a million dollars if you do that. Oh, you can, you can make so much money doing that. And and yeah, he, it's not even about that. Like the reps you get in will profoundly make you a better person. Like mm-hmm. when you, if you did that for 180 days, mm-hmm. you know how much more comfortable you're going to be on camera? Yep. A lot of you people don't want to do that. And I get it. I've been there. Just do it. Stop being a pussy. To be frank, <laughs> stop being a pussy. Right. Hopefully it makes yeah. some of you laugh. If some of you are offended, yeah. all right. But hopefully it makes some of you laugh because, yeah, I've, I'm, I'm a giant pussy. I've been meaning to do that for three yeah. months, nine months, or four years, and I haven't done it. That used to be me, guys. I was a total pussy mm-hmm, about yeah. it. But you just rip off the band-aid, do it. That's it. It could change someone, like, legitimately. Like, you might say something on the right day at the right time with the right person tuning in. You might not ever know, but they might take action in their life and it could yeah. change it. So yeah, it's your obligation. It's your obligation. If you have a passion and you, you're you really good at something, and you have a you know a certain avatar client, give them some information. It's, it's awesome to make the world a better place. And I had, it'd be awesome if like, she listened to this, but I had somebody from high school that I know um, shoot me a random message. It was maybe like a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. And she's just like, I have been, she's not in the fitness industry at all, but she's like, I've been following your stuff and you're like, you're super inspirational. And I've been on yeah. a similar, I've been trying to do this personal journey and blah, blah, blah. And I've come a long way. I just want to let you know that I appreciate everything you're doing and blah, blah. Yeah. And it was so cool. Cause I mean, I haven't talked to her since, I don't know, probably like 1999 right? Or 2000. Unreal. Unreal. And you'd, you'd be surprised. Like you can have such an effect on people, even if you never know about it. And that's, that's just really cool to see. I love that. Um, yeah. And I mean, I've had it when I went into lifetime fitness, Yep. you know, and, and Rob, he's the membership manager. He's like, dude, I, I'm listening to your podcast. Like I want to run through brick walls like every time. Yep. And I'm like, that's awesome. I'm making his day better. And he's, he's selling memberships at, at lifetime, right. For open access. But it's, it's really yep. cool. Uh, that is inspiring others to do better. So put it out there, guys. Put it out there. The world will be a better place for it. I think that's amazing two pointers from this podcast right yeah. there. Text formal people that, that went through your program that you know, love. Ask them how they're doing. Check in on them. That will lead to a couple clients. And then do the Dave Best thousand day challenge. Just put out some, and it could be, it could be a picture of you eating a taco saying tacos won't make you fat. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Just keep on delivering the value. Keep on delivering the value. It will come back to you. Absolutely. And stay tuned. Um, Stay tuned because uh, we are making some amazing progress on the Facebook route where, you know, in in Ontario, in our, with our studio Ontario, we're getting 10 to $15 leads that are converting with a new offer that we're trying. Yep. Um, You know, we're working with the uh, amazing Cody Sweet and he's going to, uh, help build out some some marketing for um, Snapchat and TikTok, which are now actually getting older users, and they're great for all of us. Uh, so yeah, we've got amazing stuff to share in in the next few weeks and months regarding that that are 
seeing some amazing progress in uh, what's hard right now. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. That's it for this this week. And uh, join us in the PT Legends podcast next week, guys. Dave and myself, Scott, would love to thank you for tuning in and listening to the PT Legends podcast. You can get direct access to us by joining our free Facebook group. Go to www.facebook.com slash groups slash seven figure personal trainer. That's seven figure personal trainer with the number seven. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast so you can keep on learning and keep on living. Finally, if you picked up any tips whatsoever in this episode that you found helpful, be sure to leave us a review and tell us what you like best about it. Can't wait to see you on the next episode.